Hello everyone, Intian Colin here bringing you another episode of Invested Climbers. To mark the start of fall here at the East Coast, we decided to take a road trip out to Fayetteville, West Virginia and get some rock climbing at the New River Gorge. Today we'll go over the places to stay at, things to do, the areas we climbed at, and show you some of the ultra classic routes we climbed. The leaves are turning, pumpkin spice is in the air, and over at Fayetteville, West Virginia, people celebrate by jumping off of bridges. During bridge day, the second most popular sport apart from base jumping is engorging yourself with food. A good place to go camp at is the Arrowhead Bike Farm. This is some of the cheapest camping in the area. It's about $8 per person per night, and it also has group sites. There's food, coffee, and beer available until nine, or on the bartender's perspective, until the interesting people leave. At the new, there are thousands of routes and plenty of climbing areas. Since these areas are a few miles apart, you should pick your resting spot depending on where you wanna go climb. In our case, the bike farm was a great choice. It's only 10 minutes away from the bridge day activities, and then we could go straight to the Kmore climbing area. This is a well-bolted area, and it's extremely well-maintained. The belay stations have level dirt, and there's wood railings to keep climbers from exploring and damaging the vegetation. Remember, leave no trace. To get there, take the Route 16 out of Fayetteville, and then take a left at Cape Road. Just as Route 16 veers to the right, you're gonna drive through some windy curves and then make a left at Kmore Road. The parking lot is not that big, so make sure you get there early if it's a busy weekend. There's also a latrine that you can use before you head in, and the approach is well rotulated, so you're gonna be able to get to the climbing area just fine. Kmore is known for its steep routes and big holds, so it's perfect for a hot summer day when the routes stay pretty shady. Some of the routes here are Flight of the Gumby. It's an ultra classic 5.9 plus. Now this is a great warm up because it's intimidating, pretty heady, and it has a bouldery start. Once you get to the middle of the route, you're gonna cut left into an arete, and this makes the exposure just right. Here, you're watching us climb Springer, and to the left of it is Boeing. Now, in our case, we preferred Boeing since it had a little bit more interesting moves and Springer is really an easy slab climb up until bolt six. This has a pretty thin slab at the crux move and then you move on to the anchors. Not too difficult, pretty easy to manage and very enjoyable. Some other interesting and fun routes are the green piece, low voltage, and honestly, pretty much every route at this now, if you're enjoying watching us do these routes and enjoy finding out about our rock climbing trips, remember to smash that like button, hit that subscribe button, and let us know what else you'd like to see from us. About to go raid area 51. A little late, but it's, it's good. Okay. Sender. 